professional bodybuilders who completely lost their gains. When it comes to the professional bodybuilder's body, people usually focus on those bodybuilders who become massively muscled individuals from their skinny nobodies. But there's another side of bodybuilding where some individuals lose their gains. Not every bodybuilder is like Robbie Robinson and Jay Cutler, who keeps their gains all the time. Let's see the top 10 bodybuilders who reached their highest success point, but somehow lost all their games now. Hi guys, welcome to Top News Age. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications from Top News Age. Today we're going to look at... Professional bodybuilders who completely lost their gains. Let's get started. At number 10 we have... Number 10, Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler is an American professional IFBB bodybuilder who won the Arnold Classic four time and one of the best bodybuilders who competed against Coleman. But he can't maintain his gain and starts to focus on martial arts. By inspiring his friend Kevin LeBron, he decided to compete again, but he can't get the desired results. After that, he managed their sponsored athletes and was seen in many advertisements of the company. On October 22nd, 2019, he lost his leg due to a circulatory vascular system problem. At number nine, we have... Number nine, Kevin LeBron. Kevin LeBron is an American professional bodybuilder and IFBB Hall of Famer who competed in 68 IFBB professional contests during his career and won 23 pro shows. He holds a record of most wins in IFBB professional until the Ronnie Coleman arrival, who set the new record in 2004. Kevin retired in 2003 and tried to maintain his toned physique. In the mid-2016, Kevin LeBron announced his return and competed in the Mr. Olympia contest at the age of 51. After that, he lost his game and started playing other sports like tennis and golf. He also acted in many films and ran an online training platform. At number eight, we have... Number eight, Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is an American professional bodybuilder who was a unique winner of the Mr. Olympia title for eight consecutive years during his time and one of the greatest bodybuilders of history. He also has a record of most wins as an IFBB professional with 26 titles. Any other bodybuilder couldn't come close to the unique massive physique, symmetry and strength as Ronnie Coleman. He's the only one in sports history which has the strongest and most challenging work. He was very famous for 2,000 pound leg press, 800 pound squats and 200 pound dumbbell chest. He always tries to get his 100% to all his jobs, which include his police officer job as well as during his original days. In 2007, he retired after competing in the Mr. Olympia competition where he got the fourth position. After retirement, Ronnie Coleman passed through 12 spine surgeries and never was able to walk again. He learns to walk again to get back on his feet and try to lift the weight again, but he can't get his monstrous size again. At number seven, we have... Number seven, Paul Dillett. Paul Dillett was a Canadian IFBB professional bodybuilder who is currently the owner of the World Beauty Fitness and Fashion Inc. He was a big monster freak during his time with 188 centimeter height and 287 pounds weight. Paul Dillett packs a ton of muscle during his peak time and he was already shredded to the bone. Unfortunately, he suffered a major muscle cramp at the Arnold Classic in 1994 due to dehydration. After that incident, he competed until 2006 but couldn't get the desired results and retired. His best placing includes 4th place in the Olympia and 3rd place in the Arnold Classic in 94. Nowadays, Paul Dillard runs his own business and loses all his game, like many other bodybuilders. At uh, number 6, we have... Number 6, Tom Prince. Tom Prince is an American professional bodybuilder who won the NPC National Championship in 97, which was his only overall title. He was one of the top bodybuilders during his days with an off-season weight of 312 pounds and a competitive weight of 230 pounds. He challenges his body to take part in the highest level of the sport. He cut down the 82 pounds to meet his competition weight, which was the cause of his kidney failure. After that incident, he retired from bodybuilding and his body completely shrunk. He lost all his gain within some period of retirement. At number five, we have... Number five, Gunter Skleipamp. Gunter Skleipamp is a retired German IFBB professional bodybuilder who was born in Ulfen, Nodarten Wolfolfen, Germany. He is one of the top bodybuilders who came out of Germany and is known as the Gentle Giant. From 2002 to 2006, he was always in the top 10 at the Olympia and proved one of the top guys in bodybuilding. He appeared many times for the Mr. Olympia title, but couldn't manage to improve his finish, so he retired and moved to acting, where he appeared in many roles, including his first appearance in Beer Fest movie in 2006. After that, he can't concentrate on his body and loses all his game. At number four, we have... Number four, Chris Cormier. Chris Cormier is a retired American bodybuilder who competed in the International Federation of Bodybuilders. 
He started his bodybuilding career in 1987 as a light heavyweight in the MPC Nationals and finished in first place. After that, he became a well-known bodybuilder in the bodybuilding industry and competed at the biggest stages, which include Mr. Olympia, where he can become the Mr. Olympia champ if he wasn't suffering from a spinal infection in 2006. This infection was responsible for his long break from his bodybuilding career during his prime time. After recovering from a spinal injury, Chris Cornier can't resume his career and decided to share his 30 plus years experience with the future athletes. At number three, we have... Number three, Bob Paris. Bob Paris is a former professional bodybuilder of America who became a champion of NPC American National and IFBB World Bodybuilding in 1983. He's considered as one of those bodybuilders who have a hard, dense, and well-defined natural body physique in sports history. Bob Paris was a high-level competitor in bodybuilding during the 80s era and best known for his artistic approach to posing in 1991. He retired from the sport and became a civil rights advocate. After that, he appeared on stage, plays, television, and wrote many books. And all his gains just vanished within the few years after his retirement as he doesn't focus on his body after retirement. At number two, we have... Number two, Jean-Pierre Fuck. An unfortunate mishap led Jean-Pierre Fott to lose all his gain as he fell to his knees during a May 2002 photo session for Flex Magazine. This injury ended his career at the height of his power. At the peak of his career, he was an absolute mass monster who turned heads in every competition. He had a great size and physique to take his career very long at the time of his injury. But unfortunately, his career was just ended by a squatting accident. Still, he tried his best after the recovery to continue his bodybuilding career, but ultimately he gave up and lost his gains. Nobody can think that the 90s era biggest bodybuilder can lose all his gains like this. Today, John Pierre Fai is a professional personal trainer and passionate about saving the cats. At number one, we have... Number one, Mufasa Mohammed. Mufasa Mohammed is a retired IFBB professional bodybuilder who became NABBA Mr. Universe in 1992. He appeared in many tournaments throughout his career from 1989 to 2006 and showed great promise. He won two world titles in his 20s outside the IFBB and it looks like he will dominate in the bodybuilding world. Then suddenly, he retired and returned after nine years in 2001. He couldn't get to the top of the sports irrespective of his physically impressive body. Fast forward in our decade and Mufasa Muhammad lost all his gains till 2009. However, people still remember him for his unique physique and bodybuilding history. Number 10, Flex Wheeler. Number nine, Kevin LeBron. Number eight, Ronnie Coleman. Number seven, Paul Dillett. Number six, Tom Prince. Number five, Gunter Skleipan. Number four, Chris Cormier. Number three, Bob Paris. Number two, Jean-Pierre Fah. Number one, Mufasa Mohammed. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, comment, and share it. See you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.